This is the plaintiff, Lori Hill Jocelyn. She says she purchased a border collie named Tucker from the defendant. And two years later, she still can't get the dog's papers so she can breed him. She's out of patience and it's a doggone shame it's come to this, a lawsuit. She's suing for $2,000, the amount she's owed. This is the defendant, Barbara. She says she's bred collies for close to 20 years and is quite shocked to be here today. The plaintiff stated she was looking for a nice pet for her family and she was going to have it neutered. She never made any promises she'd provide the paperwork necessary for breeding. Can't believe this woman has changed her mind and can't believe she's being dragged into court like this. She's accused of being paperless. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff bought a border collie from the defendant. Two years later, the defendant still hasn't given up the papers, but the defendant says she never promised papers. It's the case of the dog seller who was not paper trained. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Man. Okay, Lori Hill Jocelyn. Yes. You are suing Barbara for $2,000 that you say she owes you as a result of breaching the contract on a sale of a dog to you. Tell me what's going on. Um, in March of 2011, I searched online for Border Collies. It's not a very popular breed in our area. I'm from Rhode Island. So I found this ad by the defendant on breeders.net advertising the uh, triple registered Border Collie puppies. And what and would the triple price. registered mean? They could be registered in three different Border, border Collie Associations, maybe the American Kennel Club. I'm not sure. It would depend on the background of the dogs. Okay, can be triple registered. Registered ABCA. What does registered ABCA mean? Registered ABCA is American Border Collie Association. Both parents are registered. That both parents are? Yes. Got it. First and last litter. Totally closing breeding part. Time to retire. This is Daisy's first and last litter. Have I mentioned it's Daisy's first and last litter? <laughs> Daisy's five years of age. We have three left. Dropped our price to 590. Okay. All right, so go ahead. I called the defendant and uh, arranged to go the next day to see the puppies, which we did. Paid her and came home with the dog. I, How much did you pay? 590. Okay, do you have the paperwork from the sale? Um, no, she asked for cash only. Okay. She told so, my but husband. So you don't have a sale, a, a contract? You could pay with cash and no. still have a contract. No, she s stated she would send me the paperwork as soon as they came back from the uh, Border Collie Association from registration. So she say, was going to register the, yes. the puppy for you? The breeder needs to send in the information on the litter to, the, to whatever association. And, and then, then they send back papers. And I believe the ownership, like from the defendant to myself would be, there's another form they have to fill but out. Are, are they registering the actual pups? Yes. Okay. The ABAC paperwork states that the breeder has to be the person that submits the paperwork. Because according to you, you're waiting for paperwork for over a year. Yes. Okay, and what happens? I have been in constant contact with the defendant for Facebook and all these e messages for the past year asking, continuously asking for the registration. Do you have any lineage to show pedigree? It's taken this long and she still hasn't. Well, she did send it in apparently. When? Um, I was just in contact with the Border Collie Association and they informed me that the, pup, the litter was registered in December to the defendant. In December. In December. In December. And you bought the dog when? Last March. So in May of last year, I don't know if you got my last message. Can you tell me if Tucker, AKA Jake, Jake was your name for the dog? Yes. Okay. Has any recent pedigree that did herding? Tucker says hi, still no word on the ABCA papers. Sorry, I'm impatient. Just don't want to forget. Then a few weeks later, she, she messages you again and she waits another couple of weeks. How are things going? Any luck with those registration numbers and dog names? I will assist in making phone calls or something if it'll help. Your daughter answers that you're in the hospital. She waits another couple of weeks. Every couple of weeks, she's, she's messaging you, still waiting for the registration paperwork. Please send her registration with the father's number. I'll be calling ABCA to try to verify the litter. I'm sorry about your health difficulties. 
but it's not as though she wasn't patient. So what's your, what is your defense to this? Because she's now suing you for the cost of the dog, the training that she feels was wasted because the dog couldn't get, didn't, wasn't registered because you weren't cooperating. The vet bills. Vet bills? Vet, all the dog's vet bills? You gonna return the dog? No, but- I, I know not, I hope no. <laughs> the day I get the answer yes is the day that I, I just hang it up. Gone fishing. <laughs> and loss of income from not being able to breed. So. <clears throat> Why is this happening? Okay, first off, here's a non a non breeding contract. Okay, most of my dogs, when I do sell them, go with a non breeding contract. Why, wait, stop. You have a okay. non breeding contract in this case. Yes. In this case. Yes. That she signed. Uh, no, that she did not sign. It came oh. in from the ABC. A. I've sent it to her twice. This is the no, third no, time. No, 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 no. This is a contracts case for me. You can't make her do something she didn't agree to do beforehand. First of all, why would you not, what would you care? Why is it your business? Like, in other words, what reason would you have to not want someone you sell a dog to, to breed? Because they're like part of, they're part, they're part of my family. I want to know that they're going to be taken care of. She's never bred before. I want to make sure the dogs are going to be taken care of. That's why I ask them all the time. They have the dogs neutered. All the wait, 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 wait. Okay. Why does getting a dog neutered mean that you're going to take better care of them than breeding the dog? That, that's showing that you're not going to let the dog just go breed everything in sight or you're not just going to have a litter of puppies if it's a female and just keep breeding and breeding and breeding. You just don't want to do that to an animal. Okay, but between breeding, breeding, and breeding and just breeding once, there's a big difference. Like why, but, why do you get to decide whether her animal breeds? Okay, so the plaintiff never agreed in the contract uh, that the dog would not be bred. Can the defendant now try to prove somehow that, oh, that was the agreement, even though that contract doesn't say anything about it? It's back to, if it's not in the contract, it's not in the contract. You buying that? Absolutely, it should be stipulated in the contract that the dog's meant, not meant to be. Can you try to prove somebody agreed to something after the contract was signed? Can you prove that? Well, I just think it's the owner's responsibility to take care of the animals, so therefore if it's not listed in the contract, then it should not be bred. Fair enough. Going inside, the, going inside the courtroom. I feel that I have a right for, because I have worked very hard on these lines. My so you feel that other pet owners are not qualified to know when enough is enough? In a lot of them or? don't, no. That's it? That's my honest to God opinion, yes. That's fine. Now, do but you have her agreeing when she buys the dog to say, I won't breed the dog? Yes, she okay, did. Okay, show me where she agreed. Watch this. Did you agree to that? No. Okay. okay. Now you got to show me how she agreed to your, in, you know, incredibly onerous condition. I need to well, see the contract where she agreed. Th it was a verbal agreement. Did you agree verbally? No. Now what? Let me ask you a question. Did you just find out that they were A, B, C, D, what is it? <laughs> yes, was, I what? did. Just uh, Thursday, I believe it was. I got the email Does back. Does that sort yes. of change just a little bit for you because now the dog is registered? Uh, no, because see, I'm, I've never done this before with border collies, and the border. My understanding from the registration paper is she needs to Let me sign see what ownership said. or something. I'm not sure. This is no, now, now. Look at that. Isn't that rich? Now you want stuff that you didn't get at the time of the sale. Hand that over. To, one moment. These are papers she was supposed to have sent to, sent in. Those are the actual registration. How she registers. When we bought the dog, she agreed stop, to stop. Send. Stop. Okay. Stop. Listen to my question. Mm -hmm. Hand me. You said this latest time on Thursday. Okay. That's what I want. Hand that over, please. That's the latest. The email I received from the Border Collie Association. They were normal registrations. A previous owner will have to sign the original certificate in the bottom left corner and complete with the new owner's name, address, and date of sale. Either the previous owner or the new owner can send it in. Okay, all right. So the way this works is that this, for, for the loop to be completed, this would have to be filled out by you. Yes. With her name. Yes. And her address. Yes. And not the non-breeding status if I find that she's correct in terms of what the contract was. Yes, so, but she purchased a pet. Okay, we're not going over that over and over again. Okay. You have agreed to come here and I am the judge of your case. And I am telling you that you cannot prove to me that she agreed to be non-breeding. So I do not find that to be a clause in the contract. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order you to finish filling this out so that she can register the dog the way you advertise the dog can be registered, okay? okay. All right. Could I say one more thing, yeah, please? Yeah. In reference to like agility and herding, they do not need registration. Right. Um, go ahead and sign that for me. See, for me, it's just a simple contracts case. 
you know, that the, that the advertisement said that. And so she, I need to make sure she gets the benefit of the bargain. That's all it is. Um, but based on her signature, I'm also not going to order her to pay you any money because this should do it. Right? It's true. Okay. Good luck, folks. Thank all you. Right? I wish you luck with your health. Thank you. And good luck with Jake. Do I get a picture of Jake at least? Can I see? Here. There we go. I've got, oh I've got, I've got Daisy and the puppies and the other five. Yep. Oh my yeah, God. Why wouldn't you want to oh, register that? This is where I realize how ugly my dog is. God bless him. <laughs> I love my dog, but my dog has got to be one of the ugliest dogs on the planet. Look how beautiful this dog is. I think, uh, I think we've done this one. Okay, thank you folks, and good luck. Thank you. Well, here comes a defendant coming out of the courtroom. Okay, just you? right here next. That's good, right there. Uh, yeah. Um, how are you uh, yeah. after that case? Well, I'm a little disappointed that she did get the, you know, full registration papers on the dogs. Well, I you still, don't trust them? It's not that I don't trust them. I just don't want my lines overused. Well, that's what hard. I mean. That's my question. You don't trust them to it's handle the dog properly? It has nothing to do with trust. It has to do with breeding the dogs in the lines and overbreeding and so forth and well, so on. Well, you don't trust them to handle the dogs properly and breed them properly? I don't know them in that respect. Mm -hmm. So, right. well, good you. luck. Good luck yeah. with everything. Thank All right, right down, right down this way. Take your time heading out. All right, so come on in here. You got the papers you wanted, courtesy of the judge's ruling here. What's, what's your feeling on this? I'm just glad it's over. That's it? Aren't you good. glad you got the papers there and can do oh, what you want well, with the that's, dogs? Yeah, that's what I came here for. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what are you going to do with this dog? She's, she doesn't trust you to breed the dog properly. She's worried about no, overbreeding. I'm not even considering breeding at this point unless he does phenomenal in agility or herd, and I won't even consider breeding him. It's a cute dog. Jake's a cute dog. Thank you. Harvey? Okay, Kurt, here's the deal. Uh, you can have an oral supplement to a written contract. The problem is it is so dicey that if you have a written contract, then the immediate question, why wouldn't you write the supplemental information out too? If you are involved in a contractual situation and you want to add something, just simply add it in writing.